this week we adjust to living on board and we get stuck in fixing some sea cocks. I think and we've been invited for to the barbecue everybody goes to you know, I'm in this shape now it's gonna change so it's Sunday we've been invited to the barbecue for everybody I've got my trusty fantastic little red poorly bag it's fantastic uh, oh, and as we come around here I'll show you everybody that's sitting down already so everybody brings something to eat and some people I'm gonna lose my glass of wine. And here's Carl and everybody. Go and think, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, every Sunday, the liverboards at the marina get together for a barbecue. You bring a dish to share, whatever you want to grill, and obviously, plenty of drinks. It became time for games. We were introduced to the game of Malky, a Finnish game. Everyone joined in and it got quite competitive. So what are you taking off, that old bit that... Got to try and grind that right off. Round that off, right. The following day we were helped by Steve, one of our new friends. Steve is a qualified boat surveyor and he's worked in the marine industry building boats before becoming a liverboard sailor. <laughs> and don't worry, he's not putting new holes in the bottom of the boat. He's just grinding off the sea cocks that we're replacing. Skill of the operator. It is. Is it a plastic one? <sighs> right, can you pass me hacksaw? One thing I've found, you've never got much room to work on a boat. So explain what it is, Steve. So that's what, what is it? That's the seacock valve. Right. The little ball valve. Yeah. Just jam solid. Lack of maintenance, just left sitting there empty. You've got to replace the whole lot. Right, how much do you reckon that'll be then? Uh, I reckon it's probably 50, 50 to 80 quids worth there. Right. And is that the full length of the pipe or do we no, need a lot more plus, pipe? Plus, plus two inches. Plus all, right. Steve knew of this great chandlery shop in the next village. It's every man's dream shop. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it's got... So then we need only that, but it will go there. We don't need that. Yeah, okay. But on the other one, it's straight, isn't it? Right. Oh. 
Bargain. We soon came to realise the owner was a bit of a comedian. <laughs> oh. Mustache, my lip. You, you, Top uh, lip. You put the camera and, and it glued it. Huh? <laughs> 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 it's when I've shaved. Have <laughs> we got everything that we need other than the paint then? That Udo was getting. We had to keep pinching ourselves on the way back with views like this and saying to ourselves, we actually live here. So change the other one and then the other co uh, teacock which is in the other heads was actually out of the previous owner had put a there's a washing machine in there and I weren't quite happy with where it is because he's made a unit for it to fit into for stuff for keeping it there which is restricted access to the other seacock so I thought I'm going to take this unit out so we've got the screwdriver out totally dismantled it opened the seacocks and it's a good job I did because this seacock's never been closed so that were really stiff well I can't even move it even now and when I came to take the hose off I touched it and that just snapped off so if we'd have been at sea I don't know how long that's been there but when we took it for the test sail it was obviously in tight because otherwise the boat would have sunk because we couldn't have shut that off if water had started coming out so lucky for us and lucky for the previous owner um, people are going to say why didn't the uh, surveyor pick it up the surveyors aren't allowed to actually remove furniture as in fixed furniture to do the survey so we've never even checked that one so uh, that unit, needless to say, has now gone and we've got full access to all the seacocks so we've checked them all, replaced these two, it's cost me 177 euros to replace the two, but now we know they're safe, they're new and they will be used on a regular basis. So I'm just cutting the pipe, I've fitted all the, all the main, I've just got to put the pipes on, but I've dropped 
Where is it? There's some really strong, they're not, they're better than Jubilee clips. And I've dropped the bloody screw of one underneath and it's gone into the bilge and I can't get to it, so Jen's just need to get another one. And the chandler's closed until six o'clock tonight. So I can put the hoses on, but I'm just gonna have to wait to put the clips on. So that's my lovely shitty job for this afternoon. What you say? That one's finished. Heads changed, or thought sea cocks changed, new hoses, so that's all good. Same. Next time on Carl and Jenny Sailing Adventures, Jen plays around in the town square, and we go back to our friend's boat for a bit of a sing song. Trying to get that well we hope you've enjoyed this episode please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please check out our patreon page see you next time